Hello and welcome. I'm going to try to do a relatively short, and you know that my videos don't tend to be that short, but it's going to be on biological succession, and this is going to be basically how life changes in terms of uh, species and communities, in terms of uh, ecological changes. In other words, moisture, temperature, soil, whatever. So let's talk. This is actually coming from, and I think you can actually see this if you just type in Successy.swf, but I'll put this link uh, from a biology page because I know you can't see the URL, but I'll put it underneath this video. So what is succession? Succession is basically communities made up of populations, plants, and animals that interact with each other, and it's an ongoing process in nature. Natural communities like forests, excuse me, fields, forests, old ponds, meadows are going to change constantly. They evolve. The vegetation changes when animal components change and vice versa. So we're going to talk about our natural selection and it is with time and we're, so we're going to start with an original community which can be absolutely nothing in the case of rock, bare rock, or at least very few species. And then we're going to add wind, fire, lightning, drought, or rain. So we're going to have some resistant animals based on the conditions that are thrown in by the abiotic factors. We're going to have time, sometimes hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. And then we're going to end up with a climax forest, which is the stable community for a particular area. And ours is what's, what's called an oak hickory forest. And I'll do that once I get done with this uh, shockwave. Okay, so what we do here is we do primary succession. Primary succession is going to start with bare rock. We've got an ocean. We've got an underwater volcano. And then we, cha we check the temperature and rainfall. And it says we can actually go from low, medium to high. I'm going to show you the two extremes as long as it doesn't take too long. We're going to start with low. So here we go. See the island breaks the surface. Uh, we have steam because it's hot, and then it cools off. You notice the top soil starts to thicken because lichen got there. It's breaking down the rock. The nutrients in the soil increases as well. We start getting what's called brown soil, which has got some organics in it. And then we start getting larger life. Grasses move in, and most of this stuff comes in off the wind. And then eventually we start getting animals in there too, and they're going to bring in seeds, birds primarily. We get weeds and grass and uh, other things, and then we end up with trees. And they're saying with low moisture, it's 1,800 years. Okay, so let's actually move it over to high. See the same thing. So now we've got high temperature, so more like the tropics and rainforest type area. And we start getting moss and lichen, and again, this nutrients in this top soil start increasing. We start getting the brown soil, too, because it starts getting higher organics. And then we start getting the grasses, because the soil is thickening, and the nutrients are increasing. And then other animals bring in lots of other things. And then we bring in the shrubs and the weeds. And then within a thousand years, we start getting the climax communities, the trees and everything else that's going to go. So the difference between a thousand and eight hundred years is difference between temperature and rainfall. Low temperature, cooler temperatures, very little rainfall, takes longer. And with more moisture, more rain, more, more heat, the soil actually happens much faster. Secondary succession is actually when we already have a climax community. We've got the stable community in an area, and we have something like lightning, fire, and then it destroys all the organics above the land. And what they're saying here is because the top soil is still there and the nutrients are still in the soil, that the community comes back much faster. That's called secondary succession, and it actually happens only 300 years versus 1,000 or 1,800 years from that point. So we go through the whole thing, we get mosses and lichens, we get grass, we get weeds and shrubs, um, we start getting more shrubs, and then we get the climax dominant forest of trees. So we're going to do a quick quiz. First thing for primary succession, which one is the first one that gets there? I'm going to guess it's this. If you actually get it wrong, it says it gets two er errors. It gives you that sound. So what comes after that? Um, simple, a little more complex, more complex, 
and the most complex. And then we do the same thing, except now we have secondary, so we already have the soil, but we're still going to get mosses, we're still going to get grasses, we're still going to get weeds, we're still going to get shrubs, we're still going to get trees, and now it happens much faster, 300 years. Okay, so the PowerPoint. This is called an oak hickory forest. This is the forest here in this part of Virginia. Um, if the soil is allowed to form and the moisture and the animals to success from bare soil on, this is what we get. And this is what you should get if you ever get outside and walk. Um, you can see this path is not utilized as much as some of the other paths and it's not concrete, it's not blacktop, it is dirt. Um, today is actually Saturday and it's been raining uh, yesterday and today so I'm sure this path would be very moist if it, you had the opportunity to go out there and see it. But this is going to have the life that we would normally expect. You could expect to find deer and birds and squirrels and probably salamanders and lots of bugs um, and but that probably keeps some of you guys from going outside but I love going through these forests. Okay, so primary succession again is starting with bare rock and we start getting lichen. This is what's called, I'm um, sorry, we, the primary progression has to do with soil. They're saying the soil happens very quickly and this is probably a more probable soil level. And soil is made of 50% air and water. When it actually uh, doesn't rain as much, we get more air in the soil. And when it, it rains like it is today, we get more water in the soil. Um, the soil is always going to have air. Um, it can get saturated and be mostly water, but it's always going to have air. It also made of almost half mineral, um, which is the broken down rock, which is what the lichen and other roots tend to do is break down the rock and make the soil. And then it's also got about 5%, maybe uh, 3 to 10% organic matter, where we actually get uh, critters living in the soil as well as the dead material actually leaching which goes down with the rain and carries it into the soil. So echelon primary succession we start off with the primary species um, where we're actually going to get lichen. Um, we'll probably get some small insects. You may actually get lizards and things in here as well. And then we start getting herbs coming in annual annual herb stage and then as the community gets better or as the soil gets thicker and the community gets stronger, we get the intermediate species, which is the uh, perennial. So we get annuals that actually have to have seeds every year, and we get perennials that come back because of the roots every year. And then we end up with a climax forest. In our case, it's oak history, but oak hickory, but we actually do have some pine in this area because that would be maybe closer to the ocean uh, where we actually get more pine than we get oak and hickory because of the type of soil. And we're not going to get into geology and the types of soil that are around, but um, oak hickory forest actually shows you some pretty decent soil. Then we have secondary succession where if we get this primary forest and we get a fire, we go back to burnt, but we notice that the soil stays and the organic stay. So the primary species still come in, but it happens one and two years versus maybe 20 or 30 years. And then the grasses and the perennials come in. And then we start getting low trees. And then we start getting climax forests. And again, the life is going to change with this too. Here's an example of life. Um, we actually had canopy, distur canopy disturbance event um, where wind came in and broke the trees or fire comes in and burns the trees. Um, first thing we're going to get back are birds and some of the insects that can fly. And then we're going to start getting some of the ground mammals. And we're going to get different types of insects. And then we're going to start getting more reptiles. And then different kinds of birds and insects. And then squirrels and deer. And then we'll end up with uh, pretty much all the life you guys think about as being in the old forest around here. Of course, we've hunted turkey. Uh, we don't have as many turkey around here, although you may see some. We also don't have the wolves, coyotes, and foxes, although I do see and hear them. And uh, the deer population is doing very well because we've gotten rid of all of their uh, predators. And then we can also get the same thing with ponds. And if we get a um, 
pond that forms, and it could be a man-made pond that we actually dam or we dig out, fill full of water, and eventually you're going to get soil that falls in, or you'll actually get soil forming from the bottom, and then we're going to get life, and we'll get fish, and as the soil gets thicker, the plants change, and as the soil gets thicker, the plants change, and you can see this is still uh, cattail, so it's telling you that it's uh, mostly uh, water. Um, but it actually does start getting trees on the outside and then as the water dries up the species change and we get start getting uh, grasses and shrubs and we get bigger trees and then we eventually end up with that climax forest and again this is a pond in this area will actually end up with the oak hickory forest uh, with deer and uh, coyotes and wolves and things okay so ecological organization Again, we start with the biosphere, and then we start making different ecosystems, and depending on how cold or how high the latitude is or how low the latitude is and how much moisture and warmth you get, that's going to differentiate the soil, which will differentiate the plants and the animals that you get. And remember, we do have communities and ecosystems where we've got different types of species. We've got populations of the same species but multi multiple organisms. And then we get an organism. And then we get parts of an organism, which is like tissues, and then we get tissues made up of cells, and we get cells made up of molecules, and we get molecules made up of atoms. And this is all of life. Okay, that's it. Uh, 11 minutes plus. Take care. Bye. Good luck on that SOL studying, too. Let's look at Frank and let Frank be the guide. Bye.